Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am really excited because we are going to be doing another PR haul. So I did ask you guys on my community tab if you guys wanted to see another PR haul because I do have quite a lot of stuff piling up here so I figured before I put it all away I can film a little haul for you guys. The majority of you voted yes so here we are. I'm going to be filming it for you today. This is probably the biggest PR haul I have done yet um, just because I feel like I haven't done one in at least a couple months now, so I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff over those few months. So yeah, I thought I would sit down and share with you guys everything that I got. So if that interests you, then make sure you keep on watching. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the bell notifications. That way you are notified of all of my future uploads. So I think I'm going to start off with all of like the little mailers that I got, like the little bubble mailers, because I feel like I have quite a few of these and they're the smaller things, so we can get them out of the way first. So first up, I did get some lip products. I got these Hyaluron lip treatments from Indeed Labs. So these are actually pretty good. I have tried them out. I have reviewed them on my TikTok if you want to go check that out. So I got three shades. I got peach, pink, and then there's just a clear shade. So yeah, I got those. Super excited for those because I love lip treatments, especially in the winter. Um, and these are actually like a thicker formula. So they're really hydrating and they last like a long time on the lips. So I'm super happy to get those. Okay, next up, I did get a package from Physicians Formula. Now this is my first PR package from Physicians Formula. Actually earlier this year, I was added to their PR list. So they did send over two of their new products. These are their uh, Lash Illusion Defining and Lifting Mascara and there's also this super slim liquid eyeliner um i think that's just what it's called super slim liquid eyeliner so i haven't tried either of these out yet but i'm hoping to review them soon on my tiktok okay next up we have a package from basma or bosma beauty i'm not sure how you say it um they sent over some of their um viral foundation sticks. I almost forgot what I was going to say. Um, so I got three different shades. I got shade 14, 29, and 30. So here's how they look in the packaging. There's the three different shades. So they did send me a dark shade, which I feel like I could use as a contour. I haven't tried it out as a contour yet, but I did try out I think I used shade 30 was the right shade for me and I did a review on these on TikTok as well. So I'll show you how they look. Here's the packaging. It's really nice like high quality packaging. It's like a metal tube and here's how it looks. So I actually really liked this formula. I'm not like the biggest fan typically of like foundation sticks but this one actually was really nice on the skin there you can you can't even really see it it blends in so well to my skin tone so yeah i think this is like the perfect shade for me and yeah like i said it was a really nice formula um it's not like cakey or heavy feeling it's very lightweight on the skin and it actually lasted all day on me so i'm really excited to have these in my collection i can definitely recommend them if you're in the market for like a good foundation stick definitely check these ones out okay next we have dime beauty and i recently did become a part of their affiliate program so i do get pr from them from time to time um, and i do have a discount code with them so i will put that on the screen for you guys or in the description box it will be linked for you as well with the code so if you're interested in checking them out they do have some really good products um, i will be showing you another package from them actually that i have but it's in a box so we will get to that in a bit but this is their dime wonder screen tinted broad spec spectrum spf 30 so it's basically a tinted sunscreen i don't know is this does this have a shade i don't think so i think it's just maybe in one shade or maybe it comes in tinted and then non-tinted i can't remember but here's how the packaging looks it's a glass bottle which is really nice and dime beauty is a clean brand so i love that um, and it does come with a pump as well i will pump a little bit on the back of my hand i'm just gonna shake it up a little bit first and then show you guys how it looks okay so there's the tint um and i have tried this out once and i did like it but obviously i'm gonna have to keep trying it out to see you know how i really like it because first impressions aren't always you know accurate so we will see but that's how it looks kind of blended out so yeah it gives a nice tint to the skin um, i did find it like was a tiny bit greasy on me but I don't know like I'm blending it in and as you can see there's still quite a bit of shine here 
so like it's not my favorite i wish it would dry down a bit more but maybe i just put too much on my skin maybe i have to just go in with a little bit less on my face next time just so that it's not super oily because i already get oily with like makeup on and stuff so if i'm wearing a product that's kind of oily then it's just gonna make my makeup look you know terrible after a few hours so yeah i'm gonna have to play around with this a bit more okay, next up we have some packages from velour so you guys already know if you've seen my previous pr hauls that i am on velour beauty's pr list so i do get pr from them every month i'm also in their affiliate program so i do have a discount code for you guys if you're interested in checking them out they do have the best lashes in my opinion i've tried a lot of lashes theirs are literally the best of the best um so i definitely recommend um, checking them out they also do run a lot of sales um, and sometimes you can stack my code on top of the sales depending on what the sale is but anyways let's start off with this little kit this is the too easy lash starter kit so this is perfect for like a gift um, if you have a makeup lover in your life that loves fake lashes this would be a great gift set because it does come with some lashes lash applicator and some lash glue um, so yeah this is a really cute little set um, the lashes are like they look like half lashes so i really love half lashes too they're great for like minimal makeup days so i love that i got another pair of their plant fiber lashes in the style pixie dust these ones i haven't tried out yet but i do really love their plant fiber um, lashes they are some of my favorite styles that they carry and then we also have this lash adhesive this is just their clear one so you can never have too much lash glue so always got to get a backup of that okay next bag we have two more pairs of lashes we have their vegan luxe lashes and their effortless lashes um so the vegan luxe lashes are in the style are those real and the effortless lashes are in the style first love so love these i love the um effortless ones because you don't have to trim them and they're just like super easy to apply i feel like these are probably the best for beginners and then the luxe lashes are like more of their bold styles so somebody that really likes like a big bold lash you're gonna want the vegan luxe lashes okay, and then lastly i got another lash adhesive let's see what else we have in the last bag um we have three more pairs of lashes so again two more pairs of the plant fiber this is in the style flower power and this is in the style pixie dust i think this is a new style as well as the previous one i showed you maybe all of these are new i think because they when they initially came out with the plant fiber they only have like three styles now they have like quite a few styles so i think these are the newer styles along with the other one i showed you um and then we have the effortless lashes again in the style first love oh did i get two of these i always forget what i picked the month before so i'm gonna have to um double check before i pick stuff next time but if i have a backup and i really like these then that's always a good thing but sometimes i do just throw these in giveaways because i do have quite a few pairs of their lashes okay we have a package from mix soon i think is what they're called they are a korean skincare brand and they sent over four different products i think yeah so we have their sundi centella asia oh my gosh asiatica essence i think that's how you say it i don't know i'm so bad at pronouncing things but look at the packaging it has like this cute little bear on it so adorable so here's how it looks and again the packaging has this little bear on it super cute um i haven't tried out any of these products yet but i'm definitely excited to so this is their galato mice's ferment essence so we have another essence um this one just looks like this and we have their bean essence and their bifida ferment essence if i'm saying that right um so this is the bean essence this one does come with a pump which i like um and then the last one just looks like this again another clear one so yeah i'm really curious about this brand i've never tried it before so i'm definitely intrigued to try out some of their skincare okay we are down to the last little mailer here um and this video is already long so i feel like i'm gonna have to start speeding things up a little so that this video doesn't end up being like an hour so this um mailer is from urban decay and they sent over some of their liquid lipsticks these are their vice lip bond unbreakable liquid lip colors I got two different shades. I got Love Ya Back Talk and 
OG back talk. I can do some swatches really quick because I do want to swatch some stuff for you guys because um, I know that like people like to see you know how the products actually look and stuff. So this is which one's this again? Love you back talk. So it's a really pretty mauve shade. Again, I have tried these on in a TikTok video, so I have like you know kind of reviewed them there and shown you how they look on the lips and everything. So if you want to check that out, make sure you follow me on TikTok. And then this is the OG back talk. I think this one's my favorite just because I really like the light pink mauve. These are actually a really nice formula. They're very lightweight and very long lasting. And also in the bag, I did get their 24 seven glide on lip pencil. And this is in the shade uptight. So I'll just quickly swatch this for you as well. This is a really creamy lip liner. Like I had never tried these lip liners before and I'm really impressed with the formula. They're very pigmented, very creamy. And then lastly, I just got one of their all-nighter setting sprays in a little mini. This is like my ride or die setting spray. It literally locks your makeup in forever. So if you're looking for a good setting spray, check this one out. I am so happy to have a backup. Okay, now we're moving on to the boxes. So first up, I got a couple of products from Coco Kind. Um, I got the Resurrection polypeptide cream this is actually a duplicate for me i got one of these in a boxy charm like a few months ago so i do have two of these now so i'll probably put this one in a giveaway and then i also got the chlorophyll discoloration serum and the beginner retinol gel so really excited to try out these products i have not tried out their products yet even though i do already own this cream but i haven't got to it yet because i do have a lot of skincare but i'm really excited to finally test out their products and see what the hype's all about because i know a lot of people post about these on social media and say they're really good so really excited okay, and then back in november for black friday i was part of a juvia's plays black friday campaign so they did send over some goodies for me to try so i got their candy shop eyeshadow palettes now this palette is absolutely stunning. I am literally obsessed, um, especially with the shimmers. They are so, so gorgeous. Like, look at this packaging. How beautiful. I used to own a couple Juvia's Place palettes, but I ended up decluttering them all just because the color stories weren't for me anymore. They were just like, I don't know, just not palettes that I really reached for. But this one, I feel like I just really like the pinks in here and these like very beautiful shimmers some of them do have a little bit of a shift to them so i'm really really excited for this palette i've used it a few times already and i really love the formula i'll quickly swatch a couple shimmers so you guys can see so look at that how beautiful do those look so some of these do have a little bit of a shift to them they are absolutely stunning I will swatch them on the back of my hand for you as well so you can see a little bit better yeah I'm just really in love with the shimmer formula of this palette it's so so beautiful um so yeah I'm really really happy to add this to my collection and I also got their squalene glow oil so this is just like a hydrating facial oil um I do like it I've only tried it I think once but so far, it's pretty good. Um, and I also got one of their lip glosses. This is the Candy Shop Lip Gloss in Choco Milo. So this is a really beautiful... I mean, look at the swirl. So pretty. Um, so I love like how it looks in the tube. I love like the pink lid. Um, and it smells really, really good. Oh my gosh. It smells so sweet. Like a juicy, like Jolly Rancher kind of smells so so good um and here is the color it's a really beautiful chocolate gloss so yeah i really really love this formula as well i love the way it smells it's delicious and then lastly i got their blushed rouge uh volume 4 palette is that what it's called the blushed by juvia's i don't know it just says blushed rouge or is rouge french i don't know but this is how the packaging looks and this is like their viral blush duo. It's like got some really pretty pink shades. Oh, look at these colors. They're so, so pretty. And the formula is like really soft. And I'll just swatch it so you can see the colors a little bit here. So that's the light pink. And that's like the deeper pink. 
very pretty so yeah i'm really happy to add this to my collection as well because i do love a good pink blush okay next box is from Hymish, and this is another korean skincare brand um they do have makeup as well a couple makeup products not like a lot um mostly skincare though um and this is i think my second time getting pr from them um so i did get the dialism or dialism smudge stop mascara um, so this I tried and I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of it. I just don't really feel like it did anything for my lashes. I don't know if that's just like a Korean mascara thing. Like if that's just how their mascaras typically are, because I know a lot of like Korean makeup and stuff is definitely more on the minimal side. So I would say that this is a very like minimal effect mascara. It doesn't really add much to the lashes. Maybe just gives them some color. So yeah, I'm not really a big fan of this because for me, I like... You know really volumizing lengthening mascaras and i just feel like this didn't do any of that so yeah not a big fan of it and then next we have their artless glow tinted sunscreen so this um has spf 50 which is really nice um i did try this out once and i did quite like it upon you know first impressions so here's how it looks um, definitely less greasy than the other tinted sunscreen I got from Dime Beauty, so I like that one better. Um, and then I also got their hydro gel eye patches, the Bulgarian rose water. So packaging is really pretty. I like the pink. And then these are actually beautiful eye patches. I will show you. Here's the packaging. They are like a sparkly pink color, so absolutely love that. It does come with a little scoop as well to scoop them out and here's how they look how pretty are those oh my goodness and they are really really hydrating under the eyes um, i have tried them out really love them so super excited for these okay next up we have a little package from skin crowd and they sent over their face melt gentle hydrating cleansing balm so i haven't tried this out yet but um honestly i haven't heard the best reviews about it so i'm kind of curious to try it out and see like if it is good or not because i've heard a few people say that it's like not a very good cleansing balm formula so i'm really interested on trying this out but here is how the packaging looks i always use like a cleansing balm so i mean i'll definitely give it a try i just hope that the formula doesn't suck because i mean i have tried some cleansing balms that i do not really like that much um, here's how it looks on the inside So yeah, we'll definitely give that a go and see how I like it. Okay, then we have a couple packages from Naturium up first. We have Their niacinamide cleansing gelée. So this is just like a cleanser um, It's supposed to have well it has 3% niacinamide in it. It says all-day oil control so that sounds really good definitely excited for that and then in this package we have their um this is their multi-peptide line so we have their advanced serum their eye cream and their moisturizer so really excited to try out these um i do love the skincare that i have tried from them their niacinamide serum is one of my favorites i actually just reviewed it in my empties video which is the video before this one love that stuff so much so i'm really excited to try out another line from them up next we have another package from dime beauty this is the package i was telling you about that i got some other stuff from them so this is kind of like this was kind of like my welcome package i guess i got to pick um how many products in here five products so i got two different perfumes i got the malibu night and the seven summers personally i like the seven summers better than the malibu nights i know this is like a very popular one of theirs and a lot of people love this one i just think it's a little bit too coconutty for me i'm not the biggest coconut fan so i like the seven summers a little bit better i think it's more fruity more sweet so yeah i really love this one um i still do like the malibu night it's just not like my favorite i feel like but it's still a good one and then i also picked out their lip balm so these are actually really good i think they're comparable to the summer fridays and they have a delicious very sweet vanilla like scent to them so i really really like this they actually have some in different colors as well i think they have like two or so shades i just got the clear one but i'll definitely be getting more of these um, if i get the chance and then i also grabbed the whipped body exfoliator haven't tried this out yet but i figured i would get some body products just because i didn't really need a lot of like 
makeup or skincare stuff although they don't really have much makeup i think they only have like a mascara maybe um i can't really remember what they all have but i think it's mostly skincare and fragrance but i don't have a lot of like body care like compared to makeup and skincare so i grabbed some body care so i want to try out this this is a whipped body exfoliator it has lactic acid and salicylic acid in it so sounds really good um it had good reviews on their website as well so really excited to try out that and then i also picked out their boosting body serum so another body care product really excited for this it has ceramides and niacinamide in it um, and this has a really nice like glass bottle with a pump so yeah really excited to try this out as well okay then i actually won another giveaway from moira cosmetics so i'm including that in this um, video because this was technically a PR box. They had like a PR box draw or whatever I entered and I won. This is actually my second time winning. I won previously a few months ago. I did a whole video on their products, testing them all out and everything. So I was really shocked that I won again because I was like, didn't think I would. I just figured I'd enter just for the heck of it. But then I actually won and I was like, okay. So super exciting because I get to try out more of their products. So here's what the box looks like and i was so happy that i got one of their liquid blushes this is the love steady liquid blush in my darling because i've been wanting to try out these blushes i've heard so many good reviews about them so i was super happy that they included this in the box i wasn't able to choose any of this stuff i just got whatever they sent me so yeah i was really happy they chose a blush um i've already tried this out it's a really really good formula i would love to get more shades so here's how it looks very beautiful i have done um, a try on with this on my TikTok. So if you guys want to see me try it on, you can check it out there. Um, I did get two of their mini eyeshadow palettes. We have this Wineberry and Viva La Rose. So they're just like these cute little mini palettes. Um, I'll probably honestly put these in giveaways just because I don't really see myself using these. I don't know. Maybe the Viva La Rose. I like their formula, like I have one of their bigger palettes that I do really like, but I don't know, I just don't really see myself reaching for this palette that much. Maybe it'd be a good travel palette though. I don't know, I'll have to think about it, but I'll for sure put one of them in a giveaway because I don't really need two. And I also got two of their eye-catching dip liners. Um, I actually got two of these in my last giveaway that I won from them, so I will be putting these in a giveaway as well because personally, I didn't really like the formula. So I'm not even going to open those. I'm just going to give them away. And then I did get, this is another duplicate item. I got this last time as well. This is their signature lipstick in the shade Cherry Blossom. So I will be giving this away as well because I don't need two of them. And then I got their, what is this? This is their Glitter Glitter Liner. So it looks really pretty. It's a pretty color, like kind of a pinky color the shade is pinky promise i don't know if i'll keep this i feel like i don't really use glitter liner much it is a pretty color but i just don't know if i would use this so i might put that in a giveaway as well um then we also have this star show shadow pot in the shade showtime i got one of these in my last giveaway i won from them i got a different color though i got more of like a gold like a true goldy bronze shade this one is more like champagne i think let me just see i do like the formula of these but it is very fragile like mine kind of crumbled um so you have to be very careful with these so that's how it looks it's very pretty like very sparkly on the eye i do really like these but you just have to be very careful with them um i think my other one is kind of like crumbled and i just kind of pressed it back together so yeah very fragile formula, but very pigmented and pretty. And then lastly, I got two of their liquid shadows. I got the Speechless Shade and Showpiece. These are super gorgeous. I think these were like the liquid shadows that went viral on TikTok. Um, I think Michaela always raves about these. I did try out the Speechless Shade on my TikTok and oh my god, it's so gorgeous. So I love this. I'm definitely keeping this. Uh, I'll show you a swatch. Like, look at that. How pretty is that? I'm seriously so in love with this color. And then we also have this other shade, which is like kind of a dual chrome. It does have a little shift to it, which is really, really pretty. So that's how it looks. 
kind of has like a green to purple shift this one i haven't tried on the eyes but it's a very pretty color like look at that Ooh, that is stunning see that shift so pretty so yeah i think i'm gonna keep both of these because i really like the formula and the colors are beautiful okay, next up we have a package from pacifica and they sent over a bunch of skincare goodies so i got this reusable brow mask which is really cool i've never tried one of these before but you're supposed to like put it like here where i guess you would get like wrinkles and stuff between your brows and like on your forehead interesting haven't tried that out yet um and then we have this glow baby booster serum I did get some of their Glow Baby products in my last PR package from them. I don't think I got this one though. So I'll definitely keep this one. This has glycolic acid and vitamin C in it. Um, and then, okay, this I know I have already. This is their Glow Baby Brightening Setting Mist and it has SPF. So this I'll probably give away as well because I already have one. So it's basically like a spray on SPF. So it's really nice for if you already have your makeup on that you can just reapply your SPF with this setting spray and then i got their glow baby brightening body wash super excited for this i love trying out new body washes i want to see if this smells like anything oh it's like bright yellow that is so cool oh yeah it smells very citrusy kind of like a vanilla citrus it smells very very good then i also got their brightening face wash i think i have this already too I'm pretty sure I got this last time as well, so if I do have this, I will gift this one as well. And then lastly, we have their Glow Baby Super Lit SPF Lotion. So this is just like your regular SPF moisturizer, so um, I'm excited to try this out and see if I like the formula. Okay, next up we have a package from Pure Lease, and I recently... I want to say like in the last month they reached out to me and added me to their PR list which I'm so excited for because I really do love their products their makeup products that I've tried are always so good and the skincare that I've tried from them um, I've always loved so I'm really excited to be able to try out more of their stuff so here is everything in the package I have tried out a few of these things um, already so I got their blush glow BB cheek and lip cream blush and lip color i did try this out already and i do really like the formula it's very pretty i got the shade pink crush so i'll show you how it looks it comes in this little tube and then you just kind of twist it up so that is the color super pretty it gives like a nice dewy hydrating finish and it's pretty pigmented i mean you can build it up really nicely so I do really like this blush. And I also got their Perfect Glow BB Concealer. This is a really nice hydrating formula. Um, I really liked it the first time I tried it. It's in the shade Light. It says it's a weightless hydrating and multitasking concealer that perfects your complexion while looking completely skin-like. And then I also got their Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40. This is such a good BB cream. Oh my gosh, I have tried their other one. I don't know if it was this one that I got. In an ipsy bag i got like a mini size i can't remember if it was this one i know it was pink so it might have been this one but oh my gosh i am obsessed with this formula it is so beautiful on the skin it's so hydrating and glowy and it actually wears really really well so i love this um so much i'm so happy to have a full size and i got the shade light as well and i got two products from their blue lotus line i got the daily moisturizer with spf 30 and their four in one i adore serum so here they are in the package. I have tried out this eye serum before. I had it in an Ipsy bag once um, and it's actually on my repurchase list because I really, really liked it. So now I have a full size and I don't have to go repurchase it. So I'm super happy. It's a really good hydrating eye cream. Um, I haven't tried the moisturizer yet, but I'm definitely excited for that. And I like that it has SPF built into it. So you don't have to, you know, put on two products. You kind of just have it all in one. Um, and then I also got two products from their matcha green tea line. We have the antioxidant priming moisturizer and their detoxifying charcoal mask. And I'm pretty sure I've tried this charcoal mask before. I'm pretty sure I got it in an Ipsy bag as well. Um, and I think I liked it from what I can remember. So I'm excited to try it out again. And we have a package from Lottie London. I'm super excited for these products. I have tried them out already. Um, I did reviews on my TikTok. Well, I think I only reviewed two of these products. Yeah, but I did like them both. Um, so first I got their 
Smile Brightener Clear Lip Gloss Oil. Um, this is actually really nice. It's got like a blue tint to it, so it's supposed to make your teeth appear whiter. Um, and I don't know if it really works, like maybe. It's kind of hard to tell, but I do like it. I like the formula. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, and it has a minty scent. Yeah, it has a really nice like minty scent to it. So yeah, I did like this formula. And then I also got four of their Cheeky Glow Liquid Highlighter ones. So I got two of these I haven't even tried yet because um, they're darker shades. Well, maybe not this one. This one's in Peach Bellini, but then this Golden Glaze I feel like would be too dark for me. So I didn't end up using it. Um, but I might try out this one yet because I do like the formula. Um, so I got those two shades and then I got Rosé Bubbles and Champagne Drip. Now these two I have tried out. Um, I'll just swatch them for you. I'm running out of room to swatch. I'm going to do it on this hand. Oh, and these ones have like the little on off switch, which is really nice. So you don't like leak out product. There's the pink. So really pretty. And then let me just do the Champagne. And there's the champagne so like a really pretty gold so I do like the formula of these I thought they were pretty decent for like a drugstore and then lastly I got their bubble tea primer look at how cool this looks it has like these little bubbles inside so really cool um, I have tried this out once and I did like it it's a hydrating primer and I feel like it was really hydrating and my makeup applied nicely on top of it and everything so so far, I like it. Then I also got this package from Moda Brushes, and they sent over one of their brush sets. It's their 14-piece Ultimate Originals kit. So it comes with a bunch of brushes. So we have some pink ones, some blue ones. The pink ones are for the face, and then the blue ones are like for the eyes. So really excited to try these. I haven't tried them out yet. I don't think I've ever tried Moda Brushes before so i'm excited to see how they perform i've heard good reviews um i also do have a discount code with them so i will put that on the screen and um, it will be linked down below as well all right next up we have another package from skin proud um and this time we have some body care products um so they sent over three different products we have the bright boost body moisturizer um, this says it hydrates, brightens, and energizes with niacinamide, caffeine, and magnolia extract. Really excited to try that. I've never tried anything from Body Proud or Skin Proud for that matter, so I'm super excited to finally be able to try their products. And we have another body wash. This is supposed to refresh, energize, and gently exfoliate with niacinamide, caffeine, and PHA. So really excited for that as well. And then lastly, I got the Sleep Hero Overnight Recovery Body Mask. This is supposed to deeply hydrate and smooth with retinol and hyaluronic acid. So that's pretty cool. Like, how do you use this? It just says massage into clean, dry skin and leave on overnight. So I'm definitely interested in trying that out. Next up, we have another package from Urban Decay. And now this one I was so, so excited for because one of the products in here was actually on my wish list. So I'm super excited that they sent it. Um, so here is the card that it came with. And then inside, so I'll just start off by showing you the product that I had on my wish list. It's the Moon Dust Space Rider Eyeshadow Quad Palette. You have no idea how excited I am to try this. This is so beautiful and I've seen it all over social media. So I'm super happy that I got it. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. How freaking gorgeous. And then here are the shades. So super pretty. It has the viral space cowboy shade, which is right here. So very beautiful. I'm not going to swatch these because I do want to do probably a reel with these. And like, so I want to keep the product new so that it looks good in the video. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a reel and then I will obviously do try-ons as well. And I also got their eyeshadow primer potion. I haven't tried this in so many years. I know I have tried it out at one point, but this was like way back in the day when like Urban Decay was like one of the hottest brands. I just remember everybody used this um, primer potion. I gotta get my tweezers out because I can't open this. So I'm really excited to try this out again and see if I like it. 
So here's how it looks. This is a very like OG makeup product. This has been around for so many years. So really excited to give that a try again. And then I also got another um, all nighter setting spray, but I got the full size this time, which is so exciting because I have only, I think two minis or three minis. I can't remember, but I think one of them is almost gone. So it's good to have a full size and then a couple minis for like travel. So really happy to get this. And then lastly, I got one of their eyeshadow palettes. I haven't owned an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette in so long. It was one of the first eyeshadow palettes I bought when I first started getting into makeup. I had the Naked 2 palette, but I decluttered that one a long, long time ago because it just wasn't my favorite. But I did get their Metal Mania palettes, which this one actually has some colors in it. It's not just all neutral. It has like a few pops of color. So I will show you. Here's the packaging. And then inside we have like some gold, some purple, some silver, so really pretty colors. Um, now typically I don't love like the shapes of the pans. That's one of the reasons why I never really got into Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes again, just because I don't like these long skinny pans. I don't know, it's just a preference thing. But I do kind of want to try out this palette because it's been so long since I've tried an Urban Decay palette. I want to see if they've improved their formulas because I know this is like one of their newest palettes. So yeah, I'm curious to see how the formulas are, if, if they've improved or, you know, if I like them because yeah, it's been a long time. I can't even remember the last time I've used an Urban Decay palette. So. Yeah, I think it's time to give them another try. Okay, we are nearing the finish line. Finally, I have three packages left to share with you guys. Um, and this one is just like, can't believe it moment, like so exciting. It's another drugstore brand that I have been using and loving for years and for them to notice me just means so much to me. And they sent me this amazing package. Um, it's from Essence. You guys, I love Essence. I think they are one of the most underrated drugstore brands. I know they've been coming more and more popular. Um, they do have some viral products, but I just feel like this brand is still like slept on. I feel like there are so many good products and they are so affordable. They might be the most affordable drugstore brand, which I love because I love affordable makeup. So let's go ahead and see what we got inside here. So everything is nicely kind of stacked in here. So we got a couple products and actually none of these products I've tried before. So I'm really excited to finally be able to try them out. So first up, I got their Brighten Up Banana Powder. Very excited for this. And then I also got their Pure Nude Highlighter. And we have their Lash Princess False, False, <laughs> False Lash Effect Mascara. That was a tongue twister. Um, and it's in the green tube, so I don't know what that means. I know they have different colors, um, but I've never tried any of their mascaras before. I know I'm probably the last one on the planet, but so excited to finally be able to try that. Then we also have their Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss, just in the clear. And then we have their Lash and Brow Gel Mascara, so like a brow gel, I guess. And then lastly, this isn't a makeup product, but it's just like these little candies. They are Jelly Belly Champagne Bubble Candies, which I think is really cute. And it came in this little like champagne kind of bottle looking thing. So yeah, really cute package. I am so excited to try out all these products. I'm definitely going to be doing some reviews on TikTok, trying these products out. So again, make sure you're following me there because that's where I do the majority of my try-ons and like reviews. Okay, we have two packages left. So this is like another like pinch me moment. Like what the heck? How did I get PR from them? I don't know. This is from Giorgio Armani. You guys look at this beautiful bag and inside we have a box. I am so blown away by this because there is so much stuff in here. Like, I am honestly, like, I'm, I still can't believe it. It's just crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you what's inside. So here's this really pretty box. And then inside, we have a little card with all of these products. Like, are you kidding me? What the heck? So... I haven't tried like anything from Giorgio Armani other than their eye tints. They were in my last PR haul. I was just like so blown away to even get those. 
and then now to get this package with all these products is like what the heck um i'm so so excited so let's go through them really quick so we do have their luminous silk concealer we have their luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation this i've heard so many good reviews about so you have no idea how excited i am to try that out um we have this what is this luminous silk hydrating primer we have their fluid sheer glow enhancer again i'm going to be doing reviews on all this on my tiktok um, I could maybe do a full YouTube video as well, trying all this stuff on. If you guys are interested, let me know. Um, we got some lipsticks. I got, hold on, let me get this other one out. We got the, what are these? Lip Maestros. We got the shades. They don't have shade names, they just have numbers, but there's 418 and 107. So a red and a pink. And then we have a mask. This is their Eccentrico Mascara. Um, we have some more lippies. This is their Lip Power in 504 and 113. Let's see. Oh, so these are like twist up ones. So we have that one in shade 113. That's like a pretty mauve. Um, and then this one is in shade 504. Again, kind of a mauve shade, but darker. So we're really excited to try those out. And then we have two more lipsticks. Um, these are their Lip Power Mattes. And I don't know, they look the same, but maybe this one has a matte formula, the other one doesn't. This one's in the shade 112. I feel like they all kind of look similar, but it's another pretty nude shade. And then that one was in shade, did I say? 112, and then this one's in 111. Yeah, these look almost the same, I swear. They're probably just like very subtly different, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try out all this stuff in um, a video and tic on TikTok. Um, I, like I said, I can also do one on YouTube. Okay, we have one last package and this is another really exciting one. This is from Rem Beauty. Now, I received this package for their promotion um, because they recently launched in one of our drugstores here in Canada. So prior to them being available now at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, we could not get Rem Beauty like anywhere except for off of their official website, which, you know, oftentimes we have to pay duties, we have to pay the exchange rate, we have to pay shipping. So for them to now be available locally at our drugstore is just so exciting. So yeah, really excited for this package. So they sent over a bunch of goodies to kind of celebrate that launch. So this is the box and I can't wait to share with you everything I got because I have received PR from them before. Um, I think it was either last year or like at the beginning of this year. I can't quite remember, but I did get a few things of theirs to try out. I did a whole video trying out um, all of this stuff that I got last time. I can link it for you guys on the screen here if you're interested in checking it out. So I'm really excited to try out some new stuff that I haven't tried before. So let's go ahead and dig into this box. So on top, we have a couple little cards and pamphlets. So we have this card here. It says, hi Canada. I am so excited to officially launch Rem Beauty at Shoppers Drug Mart on November 3rd. So that's when they officially launched. Um, and I'm so grateful to have you experience the brand inside are some of my favorite products And I hope you love them as much as I do and that's signed Ari. So really exciting These are some of Ariana's favorite products and then we have this little pamphlet which has All of the products inside that we got in this box. So let's go ahead and Dig in so first up we have her at the borderline eyeliner marker. I have tried this before this I tried out in my other try on video so if you guys go watch that you will see my thoughts on this and then we have their eclipse cheek and lip stick in the shade leading lady so this i have not tried before but i've heard good reviews about like her little blush sticks like this look at how pretty that shade looks like that is like very very vibrant so definitely interested to see how that's gonna look on the cheeks then we have her full night's sleep cooling and blurring under eye balm this i've heard really good reviews about a lot of people rave about this so very excited to try this out here's how it looks 
So next we have the Midnight Shadows Liquid Eyeshadow in Fembot. Now this I'm probably most excited for um, because it's so, so pretty. Look at this color. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So let's go ahead and swatch this. This has like a really pretty like pinky purple kind of almost blue shift to it. It's so, so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is going to look stunning on the eyes. Next we have the Essential Drip Lip Oil in the shade Mint Condition. Another product I'm really, really excited for because I love lip oils and I have been dying to try out their lip oil formula. I've heard really good things. It has like this really cool like metal applicator, if you can see that. Let me just see if I can get it to zoom in for you. See how that looks? That is so unique. Um, I've never seen like a lip oil applicator like that before, so definitely excited to try this. Then we have the On Your Collar Plumping Lip Gloss. This is in the shade VCR. So this, it just comes in this little tube. It's like a squeezy tube. So I'll swatch it so you guys can see the color. It's actually a really pretty like nude color that is so pretty definitely like the perfect everyday like nude lip gloss next we have their flourishing lengthening mascara now i did try out their volumizing mascara i got that one in pr last time but i haven't tried out their lengthening one so i'm really excited to try this one out look at this packaging it's like so pretty it's actually like heavy duty feeling it's like good quality like metal I like the silver and here is how the wand looks so you can definitely tell it's a lengthening mascara so i'm really excited to try this one out um i did like the volumizing one i thought it was pretty good so hopefully this one is good as well okay next we have the um, interstellar highlighter topper in the shade miss mercury another product i'm really really excited for because i've never tried their highlighters before and i love me some highlighter so here's the packaging again with the silver theme very pretty and the color looks like this so it's a really pretty like light champagne color i want to say so looks really pretty very excited to try that and then we have the utmost importance plumping lip gloss so another plumping lip gloss this one is just um clear so again, it comes in a little squeezy tube. I feel like the packaging on this is very basic. Like, I don't know how much these retail for, but they honestly look like they could be dollar store lip glosses. I mean, there is nothing to this packaging. It's literally so plain. So I kind of wish that they would have did different packaging on this because I wouldn't pay like $20 for a gloss that looks like this, if that's how much they are. I don't know how much they are, but I'm assuming they're around 20 bucks, maybe more. Yeah, packaging on that, pretty weak. So not super impressed with that, but maybe the formula is really good. Um, and then lastly, I got the Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette in Principessa. Now I did get an eyeshadow palette in my last PR box from them. It was the um, Baby Doll one. I actually decluttered that one because I just wasn't like the biggest fan of their palettes. Um, and I just got this palette in um, my BoxyCharm um in december so now i have two of these palettes um so i will be probably gifting both of them to be honest i don't think that i will use these because i've already tried out the formula and i just didn't love it i also don't really love this color story that much so yeah it's probably going to be gifted um so yeah that is how it looks the formula isn't bad i think it's an okay formula and i know that their palettes aren't like super expensive so i guess for the price point they're okay but I just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. I feel like I have way better eyeshadow palettes and formulas in my collection. So it's not something that I feel like I need to keep. But yeah, that is everything, you guys. So I really hope this video wasn't like super, super long. I hope I'm able to edit it down a bit. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and supporting. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see me do like reviews on YouTube on any of this stuff. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments down below, but I'm gonna let you guys go. And again, thank you to all of the brands for sending over all of this stuff. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.